Hurricane Irene turns along the Atlantic coast as people in the Carolinas prepare for more possible flooding. The region is still trying to recover from Hurricane Floyd, and residents are hoping they will be spared the heaviest rain this time. And elsewhere, some wintry weather turns an interstate highway into a parking lot. Good evening and welcome to Weather Center. I'm Warren Madden. I'll have more on the nation's weather coming up, but first, the latest on Hurricane Irene. Here's Christina Abernathy in the Forecast Center. All right, thanks a lot, Warren. Of course, we continue to monitor the progress of Hurricane Irene, which is still churning off the Carolina coast. Let's take a look at the latest statistics, and it's centered now at 33.3 north, 77.8 west. That puts the center about 65 miles south of Wilmington, North Carolina. The winds are still around. Checked in with you. How are things now? It's still raining uh, lightly here on Wrightsville Beach here in eastern North Carolina. The thing we've noticed that has really changed and is marking the movement of Hurricane Irene past us, at least at our uh, latitude, is the fact that the winds, which were blowing onshore from the east and southeast all day, are now coming in from the north. So the storm has passed us by, and we're getting, remember, a low pressure here in the northern hemisphere. The winds go counterclockwise, so the wind's now coming around from the north, and that means that the uh, hurricane has finally passed by. It did make landfall. It speeded up, so that has really reduced the rainfall totals. Nonetheless, let's show you how much rain has added up in the rain, bu bu rain bucket so far. We've up to four inches in uh, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, too. Here in Wilmington, North Carolina, we've had almost three inches of rain, and we may add a little bit to the rain bucket before this ends in the next couple of hours. The good news all around is the storm passed us off the coast. It's moving by now before high tide sets in. That's kind of cut down on the storm surge, and we're looking for much better weather over the next couple of days. You know, there were voluntary evacuations here. They uh, were uh, put into effect yesterday. No mandatory evacuations except for Topsail Beach and Oak Island. And as far as we know, for Oak Island, there has not been any significant damage. There's been a little overwatch there. Earlier today, we uh, took some video of the uh, surf. The surf has been running around six to eight feet, and now it was crashing on the shore. A little bit of beach erosion, but remember, to get the real serious beach erosion on the east coast, you need a northeasterly wind, and we had an east to southeasterly wind. So we had some beach erosion, a little bit of overwash, but uh, the winds were only running 25 to 30 miles an hour. We saw very few homes here on Wrightsville Beach that were boarded up. So the residents were not taking this certainly as seriously as they did with Floyd or Dennis, and for good reason. This was certainly no Floyd. Remember, Floyd was almost a Cat 5 when it came up here and made landfall at uh, Riceville Beach. It was a, uh, I believe it was a very strong cat, Category 2 or a very weak Category 3. So there's very little comparison. Also with the rainfall, Floyd dumping uh, a foot and a half of rain, and this particular hurricane, Irene, not coming on shore, and rainfall totals probably will not max out anywhere more than five to six inches. So all around, the eastern Carolina is getting rain they don't need, but getting off a lot easier and uh, doing better than expected. Christina? All right, Mike, thanks a lot for keeping us updated this evening. Of course, we've been watching Hurricane Irene here at the Weather Channel, too, and we're joined now by our hurricane expert, John Hope, for the latest. Well, thank you, Christina. Well, the good news is tonight that the hurricane is not uh, coming on land. The eye is staying offshore, and it's moving faster. That means it's going to get out of the way. It's moving now, I think, almost 20 miles an hour. And the best we can tell, it's just going to skirt the coast. And by tomorrow morning, uh, sometime early tomorrow morning, it should uh, clear the east coast entirely and bring all the rain with it. And that certainly is good news. This is the forecast track, and uh, we expect it to just continuously accelerate now out in this general direction. We think it's gonna stay far enough south so it's not going to directly impact anything in the United States, say up around Cape Cod, or also I believe it's going to stay south of the uh, Canadian Maritime Provinces. Looking at the radar, we can see a little better defined center than we've had, and the hurricane has shown some signs tonight of getting better organized. But that doesn't make much difference now because it, uh, all the hurricane force winds are out here, out on the eastern part, out over the ocean. And once you get a hurricane moving as rapidly as this, and the winds here are coming out of an easterly direction, and the hurricane is moving in this direction, you can just about subtract that movement from the wind. So what we don't see are winds anywhere near hurricane force anywhere over land right now. They're out, all out over the ocean. The other item I want to point out is that the western edge of this rain area is receding uh, eastward. In other words, the rain is ending at all these places from the west, and it's going to continue to do that. Still a few more hours. It's a pretty heavy rain in eastern North Carolina, but it stopped raining now at Myrtle Beach and Fayetteville, still raining at Goldsboro, still raining at Raleigh-Durham. But just, well, no, it's about over with, too, at Raleigh-Durham. So just here in the extreme eastern part of North Carolina, over the next several hours, you're still going to get rain, but if you can tolerate that, 
that should be the end of this episode. We are, however, seeing quite a few areas now, looking at our Doppler accumulations, where the accumulation has been in the order of uh, uh, four to six inches, so pretty heavy rain there. This heavy rain you see here is all out over the ocean. So the good news is that the hurricane is maintaining itself as a category one hurricane, top wind 75 miles an hour. All the hurricane force winds are overseas. Uh, over the ocean and it's moving uh, rapidly now toward the northeast and to clear everything in the United States by early tomorrow morning.